typical in, in motor vehicles, cars, buses, semi-trucks, etc., they all typically have an ECU that controls and manages many of the motor vehicle functions. So those could be like speed, RPM, temperature of the coolant, and a ton of other other features. So I performed a, some quick testing on, on one of the large, with the standard onboard diagnostics or an ODD2. It's a, it's a typical standard that you would you would see any any place that's going to read ECU data. And then I made a home a homemade uh, canvas based ECU simulator. So that's what you see on the on the left side, the edge data piece. So that's basically a microcontroller running C++ and it's got a canvas shield on it, and I'm leveraging two pins as well as a basically a header file that came with the shield. Simulate a lot of a lot of these IDs that you would find in a in a vehicle. And so what I'm doing is I'm running a random number generator for for a bunch of fields, and those are those are basically going from zero to you know whatever it is for respective events. So if it's vehicle speed, maybe it's going from zero to 155 RPM, and and coolant are are basically the same. And the reason I did the random number generator is because it's, it's it's just a little easier to demo that piece rather than going into a car and sort of driving it around the block and and then testing all this out. It, it sort of becomes troublesome if you if you're doing that. It takes a lot longer. But in any event, so I was able to um, go ahead and use that that CAN bus interface, two pins on it. I, I the USB based dongle that I that I attached to Ubuntu. Ubuntu's running version 14.04. I'm using the native driver that's been built into the kernel, so I, I literally just address it with that forward slash dev forward slash TTY USB zero. And then I got Node.js framework on it, along with some other packages for, for the server piece of it and, and the OBD piece of it. Now on the application side, basically written a, a pretty simple JavaScript that takes in the data. And so the left, I know the left image is, is probably a little difficult to see, but what that's doing is it's just monitoring um, all of the output. And so what what I what I targeted to start with was, was simple, just speed, RPM, and, and coolant temperature. And so that's what that's that's what that's shooting out there. They could obviously be you know en enhanced to, to cover more more uh, data points if we need that. And then um, on the right side, so the text file. So I, I also had it uh, dumped into a text file. And so I used uh, JSON to do that. So it, it basically converts that uh, that JavaScript object to uh, to notation that I can capture. And I'm, I'm leveraging a, a NoVD library to, to sort of be able to translate a lot of those a lot of those functions in. What this lends itself to is, is obviously not not only can I do the the on gateway sort of traffic management and, and analysis on on the edge, you know, with if else and while statements for filtering, but but I could also push this to to some backend server if I need to, right? Uh, this application lends itself to tons of different other applications as well. So, um, th okay. Thanks for your time, guys. I really appreciate it.